recently, an increasing number of videos have been circulating on social media depicting a strange phenomenon where UFOs appear to drop molten lava or brightly coloured material from elevated positions around the world. In a video we produced a few months ago, we discussed several instances of objects operating late at night, discharging substances that seemed highly unusual. In this footage, a bright reddish orb hovers motionless in the night sky, emitting a substance resembling slag produced during the smelting of ores or recycled metals. While many skeptics argue that this could be a flare with burning magnesium dripping from it, others, like Dr. Gary Nolan, offer a completely different perspective. You know, I, I published the first ever uh, peer review paper on that, and that was from a molten metal that fell in an area called Council Bluffs that many people had seen this glowing object that had lights rotating around it, and then they saw something drop from it, hmm. um, and it was glowing. And then they arrive, including the police arrive, and there's a big pool of molten metal, metal on the ground. Okay, why? What is it? So I look at this, and it's interesting in and of itself, but like, well, okay, well, why does a UFO need to drop molten metal? I, I don't know. Looked at certain isotopes in the material, and found that one of them had natural magnesium ratio and the other had magnesium ratios that were so far off earth normal. But the only way you could interpret them, frankly, is that they were engineered. <laughs> or they were part of an industrial process that resulted in them. On December 25th, 2004, Christmas Day, a Long Beach police helicopter captured a remarkable sight in the night sky. The crew spotted an unidentified object ejecting what was believed to be some form of molten metal or a similar glowing material. This peculiar event occurred late at night, making the bright emissions from the object particularly striking against the darkness. Once the object completed depositing its payload, it abruptly accelerated, swiftly moving away from the scene. The helicopter gave chase, attempting to track the mysterious craft, but a layer of low-hanging clouds provided the object with enough cover to vanish from sight. This behavior is highly unusual and inconsistent with the characteristics of a typical flare. Flares, commonly used for signaling or illumination, descend slowly to the ground, often attached to a parachute to prolong their visibility. In contrast, the object in question demonstrated deliberate movement and speed, suggesting a level of control that defies the simple explanation of a drifting flare. If you'd like to watch the full clip, it's available on the Android Architect YouTube channel. Captured above Mexico City in 2013, thousands of feet in the air, this mysterious object might be connected to the strange phenomenon we've been discussing. In the footage, a smaller white orb appears to detach from the main UFO and begins to plummet toward the ground. Could it be that this object seems elongated because it is also releasing a substance similar to the other sightings but the details are obscured by distance and camera limitations. Or could this be some kind of ethereal alien entity? Take a look at the footage and share your thoughts below. What's your best guess? Uy, ahí va otra esferita. Y es todo lo que me da el zoom. Está realmente alto. Bien. Tiene como...
estoy cansando. Oh. In December 1980, the United States Air Force was operating from an airfield in Suffolk, England, when one of the most notable UFO events in British history took place. This event is significant due to the testimony of the base commander, Colonel Charles Holt, who described what he and his men witnessed that night in Rendlesham Forest. And we stopped somewhere back there at the site, and that's when we saw the object out here, and it came into the forest, it went through the trees, bobbing up and down, traveling primarily in a horizontal plane, but it would go up and down a bit. And we tried to get close. We came up toward the fence, the barbed wire fence up there, and it went back out into the field, and then it exploded silently into objects, white objects, and disappeared. So we went out into the field looking for any residue because it was dripping something that looked like molten metal. Because it was dripping something that looked like molten metal or sparks were coming off it. We find no evidence. That's when we saw the objects in the sky to the north. Is it possible that Colonel Holt witnessed the same phenomena shown in the previous videos? If it were merely flares, as some skeptics suggest, wouldn't the US Air Force and Royal Air Force in Suffolk have identified and reported it as such? The next two sightings occurred in Miami, Florida, late last week. American commentator Dave Rubin shared one of them on his X page, showing what appears to be an unusual group of lights hovering above the low-hanging cloud cover. Take a look. What the hell is that over Miami right now? That is seriously weird. We've got some decent cloud cover, but what, what the hell would be creating those lights like that? Look, you see there's like one in the distance at a different speed than those three are kind of combining together. Now they all stop at the same time. Three over there, look one randomly moving. What is that? Wait, what is that? It's either UFOs or somebody kind of... There were six of these things. No, it started out only as two. Thank you for staying until the end. If you have any footage or photos you'd like to share with the channel, please send them to Unknown Skies along with any details you'd like to provide. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care, everyone.